Hello America, it's me Dan America. This man making cheesecake is Bob the 86er and with us apparently now kind of is Manager Tom. America, we ended our last show on a bad note. It seemed like we weren't getting along and we couldn't manage ourselves enough to get through a review of Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. Well, we've decided to correct the situation by not doing that one. Instead, we're going to do National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Vacation. You see, Manager Tom said I have to be jolly, and he said that I have to drink. So, when I do this, it's because I'm being told to. This is not my choice. Okay. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Tom, what did we give it? You gave it ten dollars. Yes, I gave it ten dollars. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget about the duties. You said duty again. Yes, I did. Manager Tom. What? What did Bob give it? Chill, this dude. You are giving this hat a bad rap, and we don't want that. What did Bob give it? Bob gave it eight bucks. Okay. And what you give it? I give it nine bucks. Okay. Well, Bob, you give it eight bucks. What's up? National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. You oh. give it eight bucks. Oh yeah, great eighties movie. Ho ho ho, Chevy Chase. Well, that's what he has to say about it. I think I'll go last because I have something. Do you have anything to say about National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Of course I do. Okay. I give it a 9 instead of a 10 because the chick in the red bikini did not take her top off. Hmm. But it gets extra props from me because the cat knocked out a Christmas tree and electrocuted himself, which was quite amusing. I don't think he knocked down the Christmas tree. Are you sure? Well, I may be able to clear that up with why I gave this movie $10. See, America, there was a wonderful invention called the Blu-ray. I have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation on Blu-ray, and when you watch it, during the scene when Beverly D'Angelo is laying in bed with Chevy Chase next to her and she's telling him how he overdoes everything, the nightgown that she's wearing and the lighting combined Make it so you can see straight through her nightgown and Beverly D'Angelo, damn. I don't you think it's very it. nice to well, brag about your blue layer player when most Americans don't even have jobs. Can I continue? Just try to manage I'm the about failure. to agree with you for once on something. Managing the failure, that's all. Thanks. Alright, now I agree with Manager Tom. The movie definitely deserves props for the girl who doesn't get naked. However, once again, the magic of Blu-ray makes things more obvious that she really wasn't wearing any panties in that scene. Other than that, I do like a good Chevy Chase movie. The chicks are just an added bonus. Whenever National Lampoon's and Chevy get together, it's a guaranteed for success. Because Chevy is a good American. He just wanted the old-fashioned family Christmas. I also appreciate seeing that Juliet Lewis was playing Audrey, and I like that the kid that eventually ends up being David, who is now the guy on The Big Bang, play Rusty. Not a lot of people know that. Like, it's right there in his face. If you look at it, you just it just dawns on you. And if you look at it and it doesn't dawn on you, then you're dim. Other than that, Julia Louis Dreyfus was the snooty neighbor, and who can forget Randy Quaid? I like Randy Quaid. Not so much for what he does on the screen, but for what he does off the screen, but I do like him in Kingpin. So that would explain my $10. See, $10 is a big deal, so I figured I should explain myself very well. Now, I said I would not forget about the duties. Is Bob Bill Murray in Kingpin? Who? Bill Murray. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bob, movie duties. National Night Post Christmas Vacation. Oh, yeah, great 80s movie, Chevy Chase. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I appreciated the movie duties of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation because it was 
Not too much, not too little, and plenty of Chevy. What do you think of the movie duties? Chevy Chase looks like my dad. Really? Yeah, just like him. You don't look like Chevy Chase at all. I don't look anything like my dad. Oh. Huh. I think I was the mailman's son. Well, America, look, we did it. We completed a full episode with no follies or bollies or anything like that. And I, like, took half a shot there. What do you think of that? Bob, what do you think of that? Are you drinking again? I'm going to stop this before we have a repeat of the last episode.